Welcome everybody to Command Combat Battle Reports, and today we have Total War Attila, and we've got the uh, Charlemagne, Kingdom of Charlemagne versus Westphalia. And we have with us, as uh, always, our expert, uh, our in-house expert, Cliff. Hi. And our in-house... Uh, Cynic. Well, Cynic, Troy. <laughs> MAGA! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they're shouting over here. Okay, I think this is... Is, is this the uh, Charlemagne Kingdom of Charlemagne? I think these are the Kingdom of Charlemagne, but you can correct us here, uh, Cliff. Uh, let's take a look at this army here. Oh, wait a minute. No, I think it was Westphalia was on this because they had more of these. Anyway, uh, so we have Saxon Cavalry. What do you know about them here? Well, they, you know, these were uh, another Germanic tribe that... Uh, that Charlemagne was doing his best to wipe out, and he pretty much did a good job of destroying them. And uh, they these are guys are out of the east. They're all mostly horse cavalry, light cavalry, some heavy cavalry, and and uh, they were no match in reality for Charlemagne's uh, Charlemagne's army. And oh. the other the other thing that that. I think is pretty clear when you look at this is that despite their name, they really were not sexy. Not particularly, no. Especially <laughs> with that, I mean, it kind of makes their noses look really big. Yeah, if yeah. they if they just get rid of those helmets, they might mm -hmm. really look. They need the uh, queer eye for the straight guy. <laughs> now these guys are going to be the skirmisher cavalry, so mm -hmm. they're just you know they're definitely not going to be really hard, hard cavalry there. Now we have the doggies, the warhounds coming out of oh they're just called warhounds. Mm -hmm. Did they, was that something sort of common with a lot of armies at the time? Yeah, or? this has been a, the, the armies have used, this, especially in Europe, for a long time. The Romans used uh, warhounds, and everybody used them because, well, you get somebody down. These things are big dogs like Rottweilers. They hit you in the chest, and knock you down, and you're done. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, they'll be having to move them up, and they're kind of out taking a walk, and hopefully they're going to go pee on their enemies. Uh, we have over here the sword veterans. Yeah. And that seems to be just sort of the meat of their army. They are backed up by uh, noble Jebbers. Yeah, and if you notice anything about their armor, or, you know. The well, this is common for the, this uh, this period to you know, the conical helmet with the nose guard. The guy with the you can tell the wealthier guys because he's got eye an eye protection because you know um. that costs a lot more to make. It's a much more intricate uh, intricate uh, piece of armor. But this is pretty much what uh, what everyone would have been using, and it, usually everybody has exactly the same same type of armor: wooden round wooden shield would make a good shield wall, uh, a thick, heavy, single-handed sword. That's a, a bastard sword, and, uh, and so you and so basically you there's a lot of pushing and a lot of hacking up front, but. Uh, but everybody's pretty much wearing the same type of armor, uh, and they, uh, usually they have a male shirt under under um, a, their their top clothes because they these guys are using their arms a lot, so they've got a lot of heavy armor on. So that you get uh, upper class, yeah. middle class, lower class yeah. based on the nose guard mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe on how much they're going to preserve their faces there. Were these standing armies, or were they? Militias that were pulled together. On they were a, they were militias. These are these are tribal levies. This is not this is, you know, this is not a standing army. Charlemagne's the only standing army, part of Charlemagne's army that's an actual standing army, is his paladins, the knights. They're the professionals, but the rest of these guys are, they're brought in from his uh, retainers. They have, you know, this is the beginning of feudalism. So they, you know, each lord has so many people that he brings with him and you know a lot of these guys are like in the like in the northern clan uh, in Scotland where the, the people were part of a clan they all belonged to the same same group and they all came to, together but there was no standardization I mean the the game makes it more standard but than what was really going on out there there was not a you know there was not a lot of standardization the, all the shields are not the same you know, people had what they, they brought what they had, and so... Okay, and this is Westphalia, so where are they from? What's good nation? Well, well Westphalia is, is not, is, is a geographic expression, not really a nation. It's, it's an area in Germany that's called Westphalia, and they, and, uh, and the, the people were, the people themselves are Saxons, 
you know, in the Saxons. Again, were, not really sexy. <laughs> yeah. yeah but, uh, <laughs> yes, Saxons, not sexies. Yeah, but they're just, it's just a, um, it's just a region of Germany, Westphalia. So, was this place near Westeros, or was it... <laughs> no, no, no you're, another not, part. you're not going to see dragons in this story. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say, Troy, no <laughs> dragons and no mother of dragons in this story. Oh, she's sexy. All right. All right, so All then right. we have... You guys promised me nudity. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that's me. You don't like the fact that I'm lying in front of you nude here, running the camera? God damn it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> so you do that? Yeah, this. Put your pants on. <laughs> at, at least, I, okay, I'll put my shirt on for you. <laughs> All right. So they uh, no, there, there we go. I got my socks on. Uh, so now we got the javelin men in the back. <laughs> and then over here we got the heath guard. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, hearth guard. Mm-hmm. Not heath guard. They don't have heath bars. <laughs> these but. are this is these. Um, the hearth guard is more. Um, these are the king's closest um, buddies, companions. They they go have uh, cigars together. Yeah, well, they, yeah, basically they're the they're the nobles. Behind them, you have the Baby Ruth Brigade. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're they're the nobles. All right. Yeah. And then over here we've got the Saxon cavalry. Only a fool messes with the Toblerone Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> that was the commercials they always had. <laughs> so Saxon cavalry, anything about them, or just sort of the they're, same they're, thing? They're, they're light cavalrymen. They're uh, you know using uh, light spears, light shields, fast horses. And not a lot of armor. You know, they're very lightly armored. Yeah. But right. they do each have two arms. Yeah. <laughs> they, I, let's see. Let's make sure. Uh, yeah, I guess they haven't been in battles yet. So. Which has been, I understand, a long-standing rumor is that Charlemagne had a genetically modified army. Yeah. And I think <laughs> yeah. we can clearly <laughs> say from this that that it may be true, but we don't see it here. Yeah. 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 You know. Records from that ter- that time period are sketchy at best. <laughs> <laughs> and you got onagers on each flank. Now, what do you think about their setup here? We, they, it seems like they got the their Saxon cavalry on one side. Oh, just cavalry on their both sides, and then yeah, you get the front. Yeah, but basically, the um, the cavalry's there, especially light cavalry's there to come around on the flanks, attack the flanks, and uh, and the real strength is right here. The horse guard on the main body. They're the they're the they're the kings. Uh, they're the heavy cavalry. They're the heavy oh. infantry, and they're the ones who are supposed to do the breakthrough. Okay, okay so they're going to break through on the left. Well, meanwhile, they're just going to have kind of a general attack. It looks like everybody else is over here to kind of be spearmen, fodder. Yeah, you spearmen, you just get in and stab, stab, stab to push guys back. Well, those guys right there are going to try to do the breakthrough along with on the flank with the cavalry. Oh, okay. Now, so, now hmm? Charlemagne's trees there on the right. Uh, what was their role? They're spies. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, ah. he had uh, tree men as the... Yeah, uh, they're, they're renewing, uh, sending all the information back to Chuck himself. Yeah. They were paladin trees. Yeah. To yeah. Chuck himself? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what they call him, Chuck? Chuck. <laughs> all right. How much wood can a Chuck? All right. So here's Charlemagne's forces, and it looks like up front they have their spearmen. Let's take a look. I'm making everybody dizzy. Don't worry. The cameraman is drunk. Uh, all right, so here's their... Ooh, wow, you can already are, see they're these, more well-armored. Yeah, these are heavy infantrymen. These are heavy infantrymen. Notice their spears are, have got the... F- they've got four edges on it. These are man-killers. They come through that armor, whatever light armor you get through, they push in, and wherever That's it goes... she said. <laughs> it is going to... It's going to is going to rip out your chest. Yeah. Oh, jeez. And, of course, you got Derpy Man over here and mm-hmm. his brother, Mr. Derpy, as well. Heartbreakers. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of say, oh, this guy, you know, that's the one thing. They may have the great spears, they may have the great armor, but, you know, if they're distracted like this guy looking out behind them yeah. and these guys kind of look up in the sky, you're not going to do too well, I don't think. And this well, guy over here. It was clear that they were overcompensating for yeah. something else. Yeah. I yeah. can't imagine what. But they're really not even looking. At that. This guy's even paying attention. To that. Now this guy has a big nose too. Yeah, that's probably the colonel. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, and he's got like a nice uh, shield there and everything. All right, behind them they have the, the no, levy ar- say, archers. Big shield, big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big, uh, big shirt. This is a, th- this is an advantage that Charlemagne army has over the the Saxons and the like. They've got archers. They can reach out and hit the other side a lot harder, a lot faster than they can because these guys. 
Reach out and touch me. Yes, basically is what they're going to be doing, is reaching out and touching them. Aww. Reach out and touch somebody's and All right, now I'm actually having a little trouble turning. Oh, there we go. Had trouble turning, and then all of a sudden it's just spun everywhere. All right, so over here what we have is the mounted swords. Well, they're the mounted swordsmen, but they're not really mounted on anything. Do you know why they're, they're calling them mounted swordsmen? Well, they, give, they came on horseback originally. Oh, okay. So, yeah, probably <laughs> rode here and then got off. Because <laughs> they were each issued a pair of coconuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Coconut men are behind them. <laughs> they're very, they're, I think it's false advertising. Okay, back here we have Charlemagne himself in amongst, well, he's supposed to be in amongst some of these guys, or at least his commanders back here somewhere. Um, this is a shocker. These are these are heavy cavalrymen. They're going to come right at you. They're not going to go to the flank. They're going to come busting right through the line. That's heavy cavalry, and they'll run you down. Mm -hmm. see, and then look at the notice the kite shields that they're carrying. And uh, this is this is uh, this is standard heavy cavalry uh, weaponry. So to give kind of a uh, it, it, they're analogous to modern day uh, voters in Florida. Right. Uh, no right. matter what your plans are, they are they're the, going to decimate them. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I mean I, I, I was thinking it was just uh, Mary Poppins came and told them to go fly a kite. Yeah. All right, now they've got over here the they've got their own honor guard. Looks like that guy's really ready. <laughs> See with Mary Poppins, they all hate her, uh, and they're yeah they're uh, looks like they're they got their legs up on there and everything ready to really rock them. And they also have some swordsmen over here in these trees, way over here. Who are these guys? Looks uh, just medium melee infantry. Landscapers. Yeah. And they got cavalry way over there, and too. Cavalry way on the side here. <laughs> oh, way on their own. Fra Frankish horsemen. Frank. What are you doing over here, Frank? I think I, I, think I found where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you know? What do you know about the Frankish horsemen? This is metal, these are these are light cavalrymen. The, these are light cavalrymen designed to go and attack the flanks, and um, their spears are a lot lighter. But their notice the lance head is a lot longer than the ones that the, uh, the Saxons had. So, so they derive their name because they're reanimated dead, or? <laughs> <laughs> no. And you can see they have some more over there. I think they're also Frankish horsemen. Let's take a look. Yeah, Frankish horsemen. So yeah. that, hmm? go ahead. Yeah, this is all, they're all prepared to go for the flank. See, because at the moment, at the moment, the, oh, the, the, uh, kind of the Saxons have the high ground. If they stay on the high ground and don't come down, they have a, they have a greater advantage. But this, this is to lure them, that, that, this, that uh, set up. Having their armor, their army scattered all over the oh. place, is to lure these guys down off the high ground, and so the flanks, the flank, ca flanking cavalry, can come up behind them. Okay. And so sounds kind of rapey to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who do you guys? Who would you uh, guess would be that? Who, who do you are you kind of thinking might win this? Take this one. Uh, Charlemagne. <laughs> Charlemagne. All right. Is it just because of Charlemagne or because of the setup? It's because of the setup. <laughs> All right. To lure them down there. What do you think? Uh, I almost called you Frank. What do you think, Trey? <laughs> or whoever's I'm back there? Going, I'm also going for Charlemagne, but not because of anything tactical or strategic. I just, I just think that any man who goes through life with the nickname Charlotte, <laughs> <laughs> or Chuck, or Chuck, <laughs> or Char. And yeah. succeeds and becomes king. That's that's a guy that's got a lot going for him. I'm gonna go because of the, for him because of that Char name. That yeah, it just is like sounds badass. Well, it's actually was called Car, uh, you know that's the French version. He's actually called uh, Carl Magnus. And <laughs> that's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> All right, let's see how this thing goes. We're gonna push play, and it looks like their uh, strategy is starting to work of the luring them in because the Saxons are starting to pull down. All right, we're on the overhead view, and it looks like, uh, like just like you said, Cliff, the uh, the trap is being um, played into. The uh, uh, what? Are, oh, I forgot what they were called again. These are the um, Westphalian forces. Westphalian, yes, exactly. Westphalian is moving in. Although you see the commander is kind of like walking off. Well, he needs to be able to command to see what's going on. There's, in being on the heights, he can actually see what's going on and hopefully try to stop them from doing something too ridiculous. Oh, now, yeah, he's running towards them. He probably saw something they're doing that's ridiculous, so he's running to them going, Hey, guys, wait up! 
Now, the, what what the um, the light cavalry should be doing uh-huh. is when they get getting um, further down the bank, they should be moving along. Uh, oh, you uh, mean uh, yeah, um, Colonel Maine's light cavalry should yeah, be moving up. They should be moving up to the top of the hill so they can get so they can hit them in the rear. Yeah, they should be moving up here, mm-hmm. and the same with the other one, which is down. Oh, it looks like the other one is moving. Yeah, yeah the, the he's lower already one done the done flank. It. He's already flanked so, them. It's just his buddy forgot to move. Well, they've they've got their eye on him. Yeah, and so he's waiting, and these guys are going right after the onagers. Yeah, and, and it looks like they just got hit by some onagers. Yeah, you can see some they of them got dead, but they're making a run for it. Oh, mm-hmm. and so oh, those are some sharp shooting onagers there. Yeah. But they are going in for that. Let's let's see them go in for the kill here because there isn't much else in terms of the rest and of the And they're market. trying and they're heavy onagers and this go that's why it's taking so long for them to turn them around. And that is a hit. Yeah. Now the 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 um, Charlemagne has light onagers and they're easier to move. And yeah, that's true. And it looks like maybe they the reason they didn't move here is you can see the cavalry is still there close and to these onagers, they, but they did not move out far enough to the flank. They should have moved farther away. To go around, to go yeah, around. further over that way. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, in these games, sometimes they have a, uh, a limit, so they might not have been able to. But anyway, so he, since they do not have canister shot, looks like they are going to be making it. They're going to gonna them. hit. They're going to hit them because they they're moving. They should have stood their ground still not instead of trying to, to keep moving. Yeah. And boom, boom, shakalaka laka. Yeah, they're going to go run. They're going to run them down. And they're like, screw this, we're going out of here, but we're going to pull our little knives out, because I'm sure a little knife's going to work against well, those guys. They, here. they've got to survive, to t- protect themselves some kind of way, because they cannot run those horses. Uh, that is true, that's a good point. <laughs> so they're going to try to cut them in the shins. All right, So and then we have the other cavalry's going down here and hit the guys with yeah, the dogs in the back. Hitting them in the rear, yeah. Yep. Oh, and they're getting shot at from every direction, so that that's sort of unfortunate for them. Oh, that horse just got swallowed up. Mistake they made. They're now turning around to chase the cavalry. Right, and now they're broken They've up. They lost the their form, their formation is, and, and and now they're heading right into the middle of the middle of uh, Charlemagne's forces. And the cavalry is going over towards this uh, the melee these guys. force. Yep. Now they're just going to stop and throw some spears at them. So like, all right, screw you. We're going to come out and get you. Oh, and the onagers are going yeah. to them. So and they've stopped and made it easy for the onagers to hit them. Yep. And now the archers are probably coming at is shooting at them too. I think I see, yeah, some of those arrows coming in and hitting them. So they are getting hit and now they're gonna come in and hit that shield wall. And this is a bad mistake. <laughs> that is a bad yeah, they, they they just basically tied up their cavalry there mm-hmm. and the rest of the cavalry's running up here to where? Oh the And they're gonna try to go for that other yeah, unit. They're, yeah, either the other unit or just gonna hit them in the back. They should have hit them in the back. But yeah. see they were afraid because they, this was gonna happen. This unit that's free has now got them pinned between two forces. Yep. So, Cliff, here's a question for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. In uh, in real life, at the time of Charlemagne, when you had such large forces across such a wide area, how did they coordinate? Well, that was the thing. These things are easily not that these are things are uh, easy to get out of control. That's why you try to keep your men from rushing out. With your officers, uh, the, if they keep their head, they move all the same time they don't they don't move uh, independently like these guys were told to go by the king's guard the, his, um, his his um, his heralds would go over and tell them you need the king says move here at this point and uh, and you can see the cavalry actually got chewed up here the ones yeah. that were in these woods and they, yeah. the Charlemagne's cavalry went in there and finished them off and is now sort of following them up yeah that was heavy cavalry that, that broke them now these guys are all piled up right in the middle and they're getting chewed up by arrows arrows and the spearmen they basically the spearmen are holding them in place yeah. while the arrows go overhead although now, these they do guys have cavalry are going to try to hit the, they're try to hit this cav- this uh and Charlemagne is countering with with himself, actually. Yeah. His Paladin guardsmen, they're yeah. standing guard, and yeah. here they come. Now, Charlemagne should have charged, but... No, he's letting them He's letting them do all the work. Oh, I see. Okay, let them exhaust themselves. Yeah. Especially, them... you can see the troops o- over here, they're still slowly moving in there. Mm-hmm. And, and they're being chewed up, and now heavy cavalry are turning on these guys. No, oh, yeah, they're heavy cavalry going in there in a wedge formation. Mm-hmm. And, and so he's got, still got a whole bunch of troops that have, once these guys have committed themselves completely, 
they're going to be surrounded and crushed. Right. And that's what they. That's why they're not moving. They want them to come. They want them to get in this, get stuck in, as the British would say. <laughs> yeah, is that what the British would say when they get uh, committed and yeah. stuck? Yeah. Well, you do have the cavalry have come back here and have hit. Uh, what is? Who were the spearmen there? That was the noble yeah, javelinmen. Yeah. Oh, they are more nobles, and they probably have some armor. Yeah, oh, these are the ones that were like middle class, high class, low yeah. class. All right. And yeah, they've got some archers. Yeah, archers who are supporting. However, they seem to be running now. I don't know where they're going. You can see in the background. Well, they're there, running there's because there's cavalry coming at them. Oh, I see. They're going to get to themselves set up. That's Charlemagne leading his paladin. Yeah, see, he's, you see he destroyed the, uh, the cavalry coming up. Clearly, they are fifth level because they have their mounts. Oh, some Dungeons and Dragons uh, reference there. <laughs> All the... And now uh, the archers are dead. There goes the archers. Ooh. I would not want to be right there. Oh, you saw it, guys. Stumbling over. Yeah. So. Legolas! <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch this in slow motion here. Actually, I should have seen some of the attacks, but I, I like some of these, uh, the way they fight there in slow motion. Mm -hmm. okay. Now they're using the horses to push these guys aside, and you know, the horse will come up and kick them, push them on them, run over them, step on them. And now they've, now they've broken through. They've broken their back. And these guys are running for their lives. Oh, skewered him. No. Yeah. Slow mo. That wasn't <laughs> Slow even. Slow mo the, chase down. He didn't even use the spear. He just used the horse. <laughs> I was going to say, if the horse probably took it away from him because he, you know, probably wanted to do one of those, uh, what now, is it? A kebab. Or, yeah. What is that called when you have is it shish kebab? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. The, the guy's last thought was. I just saved enough for a down payment on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> that and, and and oh, the irony! The irony, <laughs> the irony that a horse then took him down. Meanwhile, this fight still goes on. I wonder what that looks like in slow motion here. Just a ton, big. I mean, this this wall of Charlemagne just will not break. Yeah, there's all of his spearmen just up there, just like, all right, come to me. Yes, these are these are heavy infantrymen against them um, light infantrymen. Yeah. And these guys, have, these guys in the back have got nothing to do. They're bunched up, and that's a mistake. They're all bunched up in the back, and they're just, they're just nothing to do. That's one of those, uh, you know, yeah, you got the numbers, but if you can't use the numbers, it yeah. doesn't matter. And, they, and, and here comes their infantry right behind them. Oh, now, yeah. Cliff, exactly. How many different classifications of infantrymen were there? You had... Heavy infantry, light infantry. Did you have Bantam? Did you have cruiser? <laughs> Flyweight. <laughs> Flyweight infantry. <laughs> and here comes the flyweight infantry versus. Actually, funny enough, the uh, it's, this thing still says that it's uh, even up. Yeah, the, uh, it's still even. I, I guess they could break through or something. Yeah. See, if they break through, that's true. Charlemagne does not have. I mean, they do have a reserve right here with the mounted swordsman, mm -hmm. but uh, you know. And the, he's keeping his reserve. And keeping those guys fresh. When these guys finally begin to break, that 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 mounted group is going to come down, sweep down on these guys. Yeah. Although some of them are breaking through that uh, line. Yeah. They haven't destroyed the line, but yeah, they managed but to get through. That's interesting. But they're weakened. They're going, oh, we're going to get you with the bows. And here comes and the mounted and infantry. Yeah, yeah here comes the reserve. That's all sure. And they're exhausted. That's why you keep a reserve there, Look at folks. their heads down. Oh, yeah, they're, they're just... Exhausted. Like, uh, they're not even putting up a fight. <laughs> like, well, they're, they're making it easy. They're putting their heads oh, down so they can be chopped out. Oh, sweet of death, come to me. <laughs> 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 and then the horse... No, the, yes, the, the, Charlemagne's paladins are coming up the hill again. Yeah. They're getting oh. up the hill so they can get... Um, they can charge down on you a lot more... Uh, and the enemies are just so pathetic they're not even bothering them. Look at that. They're just like... I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> taking my marbles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm taking my marble shield. The guy at the end is going like, see the world, Bob, they said. <laughs> <laughs> Have adventure, they said. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> uh, but meanwhile, the line actually is, oh man, the line that just keeps going. They just keep fighting each other there. Yeah. And so they have the weight of numbers. It's just that they can't use those numbers because they're all pushing them to one side. Yeah. And he's still got archers up there. Shooting down on them. Shooting down on them. And the cavalry is chasing the other cavalry. Almost looks comical there, the way he's yeah. chasing them down. They're, they're breaking up any reserve, any anybody that can help them. And once they've got that, all of those stragglers all beat up, they can completely surround that group in the middle 
in Croatia. Yeah, and there the sword fight that was just happening here in the middle just got just ended. So that ends. The, the Charlemagne has the right flank. How does it look in the center here? Well, man, you still have arrows raining down on them from and above. And they still got onagers. Yeah. That honor and now they're them. coming to their flank. They get, they're gonna Infantry hit their flank. to the left of me. <laughs> Calvary to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle of the paladin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, although I think it's the onagers that are stuck in the middle. Yeah. Man, those guys suck. <laughs> they always show how much bigger their rocks are. Yeah. Like big stones, man. They haven't gone after the king of the, the Westphalian king. Yo, yeah, that's true. He's still he's 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 middle, way over he's here. Stuck in the middle of it. Stuck in the middle with the king. Mm -hmm. Now that's where it really sucks. So, he's always going to be like, I'm a noble blood. So these guys, and they're still, that unit's still strong. That one's, they're, now they're broken, that flank. Flank is broken. They're coming in behind them. What do you think the, uh, the lingo of the day was? Instead of saying, boy, he's got stones, mm -hmm. they see. Boy, he has a bronze cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I said. I don't know about you know anybody else, but I was always saying that sort of thing. Yeah, they're one, they're breaking them. They're comp and now here comes the cavalry. Oh, cavalry coming in from behind. And got there, and there's Charlemagne's paladins. Oh, and there's the West. Wait, well, I almost said Westminster. Westphalia's yeah. commander mm -hmm. getting hit from behind. The Westeros commander. <laughs> they just got Jamie Lannister. <laughs> Go down, and Jamie. He is weakening. In fact, actually, I think that might be him walking he's back there. surrendered. Oh, he's got his head down. He's like, I'm so depressed. Battle is running in your favor, and it looks like they are gone. And that is it. That'll do it for the Charlemagne versus uh, West, Westphalia. Westphalia. Go Char! <laughs> Char wins the day once again. Woo. Well, thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed uh, our nonsense and uh, historical information all coming from Cliff here. <laughs> uh, be sure to subscribe and watch many more of our videos. Happy gaming, everybody! We hope you liked this video. Be sure to subscribe and thumb us below if you did. Also, if you think the player should have done something differently, be sure to tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming, everybody!